it's uh, August 9th, um, and we've got some chores to do here, like Brick Link, there's four orders, Brick Owl, one order, 2,280 items on Brick Link, holy crap, two orders, or two items on, on Brick Owl, and then uh, 116 lots on Brick Link, two lots on Brick Owl, and then $240 compared to $6. So let's take a look at this one brick link order because this one is huge. 2,240 items, 108 lots, $219. I think this is my biggest order I've ever gotten on any platform. I think the previous record before that was like $130. So this is a great order. First thing I see right off the bat, I ordered all of my ghost dogs. I'm not complaining. $20 in ghost dogs. There you go. Way to go there. Um, so I was thinking about this uh, when it came in yesterday. 108 lots would be, uh, if we were to calculate the, the time it would, would take to do this, would be uh, 36 minutes. But with each, I don't know, each uh, lot being roughly about 20, 20, around 20 items per lot. There's got to be a different way to calculate this. So it's got to be like, like a multiplier to, to this. Um, like if the number, if the, if the ratio of items to lots is higher at some point, like, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but like, I feel like this isn't going to take me. 36 minutes to pull. It's going to take me a lot longer than that. And then most everything in here, um, they've bought every single item. Majority of the lots are just buy, bought me out. So this will take me probably about an hour to do, I, I would assume. And uh, the other the other one, the other three, they'll take me minutes. And then um, lastly, we've got one one order on uh, eBay to pull. So I'm going to get the eBay one and then these other uh, four and then we'll tackle that large order. So I've got some got some work ahead of me. Okay, Pops' vlog just came out um, minutes ago. It's only got 11 views. He titled it The Grind of Reselling Full-Time Brickling Store of Lego Parts and Pieces. Now, if I go to my my content in my YouTube channel scheduled I did this earlier today without knowledge daily grind of a 14 uh, 140,000 parts bricklink store I'm not making this up man like we're on the same wave, wavelength here lately I don't understand it I did not copy him he did not copy me. We did this by coincidence. All right, here we go. We're gonna pull this big order. It is, uh, what time is it? For 11.48. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping to have this done by one o'clock. Um, 33 minutes if, if all things are equal. I think we could do it. Like they're taking basically all of the parts and all most of the drawers. So we can get this done quickly. Um, 2,240 parts. Let's go. We got Pops talking about antiques or something over here. 32 ghost dogs going out the door. Goodbye. And, uh, here is the first part of this order. I need to bag this up and clear some cups up so I can continue on. We've only made a dent. 200 of these 1x2 dark bluish gray plates. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of drawers already being emptied out. These three here are like they're gonna need to go into smaller drawers so I can free those up. So uh, making some space, and they're bad. Let's continue on. Had to come and empty out and bag up these parts again. Put the tower of drawers going. Got a bunch of drawers where uh, half the drawer is empty, so we'll. Combine those so 
get these parted out. We're about half an hour in. Uh, and we're probably about halfway through. Um, we're at drawer 2545, so about halfway around on the drawers. Another stop to uh, bag up parts. The third stop, another tower of drawers. Uh, we're reaching almost an hour, so uh, we're starting to fall behind. I think the hardest part is like when you have to count out parts and there are still parts in the drawer. Like, so this one I had to count out 100, and there was still like another 130 left in the drawer, so that took some time. These parts, like where I can just dump it in the tray and just count it real quick and put it in the cup, those are those are fantastic. I can get through those quickly, but these ones, when there's more parts left in the drawer, it just takes more time. Another bag pause. Uh, all these ones up here are new. All these ones up here are used. We got some rocks. More rocks. Uh, there's the dark bluish gray rocks down there. Lots of wings. Uh, yeah, another tower. Drawers. Some uh, half drawers that need to be consolidated here. Okay. We almost got our hand back again. And that's it. This is the end of the order. A lot of uh, used animals there, but uh, bagged this up. I wish I had a little extra space so I didn't have to do two bag sessions, but uh, let me get this bagged up real quick and I'll show you it all to you. There it is laid out as best as I can to show you. I did a lot of uh, one part, one bag um, on this order just because of the quantity of parts uh that each lot was was taking but if they were smaller quantity i would bag them together but there's uh there's lots of stuff here i'm curious to see how how much it weighs um let's see where's my scale oh here it is okay um real quick because i want to see i don't want to i don't want the weight of this on it uh, so we'll bound zero it out. I'm not gonna have enough room here. That's for sure. So put this on there, and then uh, you zero it out. See, it was that was a pound. So okay, so that's zeroed out. So now let's take that off, and it's like you know, make of a pound. I put this on there, and it is. Two pounds, nine ounces, almost ten ounces. Not bad. Definitely gonna have to go into a priority box. One thing I wanted to show uh, with this order, since uh, it's definitely clearly um, would not go into a microtransaction or a micropayment fee structure. Um, I've set up both stores actually BrickLink and BrickAll to just go into my micro payments transaction or payment uh, bleh, account <laughs> and so uh, with the dynamic pricing it figures out if it should do the micro payments fee structure or the um, uh, regular fee structure and here is good proof that um, I think I have Here's where I actually prove it. So I put uh, the whole amount that comes in, and this one is the micro payments fee, and this one is the uh, uh, regular fee. I think I have the wrong percentage here. I think it's three, four, nine, maybe. Um, anyways, it's close enough where it's not 11, 1179, which is the right fee for uh, micro payments. So this just proves that um, uh, the dynamic pricing is working. So you can have just one account, and I've been using just one account now for a week, and it's been it's been fantastic. I've been using the multi uh, multi order shipping labels uh, every day, which has been saving me a lot of time instead of bouncing back and forth between the the two accounts. I just stay in the one account. So uh, I know some people were asking that at the brick separators during the uh, uh, the premiere in the chat. So here's proof that it does work. I'm also adding in insurance on this. So just because it's so much money. So $4.75, I know I can get it through InsurePost 
the more I think about it, the more if I just keep the insurance with USPS, I think uh, it would be easier hassle if I ever have to claim it. So, and it's not that much. Um, it doesn't, you know, it's still less than a large flat rate priority box. So I'm happy with that. Days are becoming BrickLink order delivery day. Eight today. Last week it was five. They all just get clumped up together and get uh, delivered. I wonder why that is. Cause like, I'm not, del I'm not like ordering them all in one day. I'm ordering them throughout the week. Like one or two a day, every day last week. And they just all come in at once. It's crazy. I want them to come in like every day so that I have something every day. So, uh, I just have to order more, I guess. Uh, so I need, uh, I've got, I think I've got one over there from the weekend. Um, and then I've got these eight to, to go through. So I've got some, I've got some minifigure stuff to do today. All right, here's all eight orders on the table and I've grouped them by sort of category. Um, out of the eight orders, I think only two or three orders had the BrickLink order ID in the package. Why? Why isn't that like standard for sellers? Put the order ID somewhere on the package, in the package, so that I know what it is. The other problem is the return address doesn't usually have the store name. It just has some, has the, the store owner's name and it doesn't match the seller name on the order placed page. You have to like go into the order and it's just, it actually becomes really hard to try to identify which order you've received. Please just add the order number. That would be fantastic. All right, let's get through this. Uh, I ordered a bunch bunch of minifigures to, to just quickly sell. A couple of uh, Harry Potters here, a couple of uh, Anakin. I also got two more of the Harry Potter. Now I've seen minifigures that you know, when you buy them, they come not assembled. But I've never seen a seller just include the whole entire package that the minifigure came in with all of the extra parts. That was kind of interesting. Uh, I've got uh, some Series 14 minifigures. I think I got like three of the uh, Bigfoot and five of the um, Scientist guy. So those are complete and ready to go. Um, some legs. Black legs, I know that's hard to see. I'm a sucker for just buying black legs. I don't know why. Even though it's not on my default wanted list, I just buy, I have way too many black legs. Um, let's see what else. Uh, some mini, some torso parts. So um, just some things that I run out of when I'm trying to fix up torsos. Um, tan hands, I bought a bunch of. Uh, left and, I think left, green arms and reddish brown arms. Um, some things for making accessories, uh, lightsabers, uh, body part, body wear parts, um, body wearables, so capes and, uh, uh, I don't know what they're called. I want to say colders, but that's not right. Maybe that's right. Um, some things for, you know, the shoulder stuff. Um, Grievous's arms, some hairs various hairs here, uh, headgear, hats, um, some other accessories as well. Like we got the heads and uh, head modified, some helmets, all of the torsos up here. Um, and then right here I just have all of, <laughs> everything that goes to the uh, zombie cheerleader from series 14 is in there as well. Um, the weapons, so, a couple axe heads, um, small blasters, swords, katanas, I mean, um, medium blasters, long blasters, the, there, that might help a little, um, spears, um, these two are for one of the Lord of the Rings characters I'm trying to put together, horse for King Theoden, so I don't have to buy him again, some saddles for the horse. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's pretty much what I got. So I've consolidated this all down and put it in categories so hopefully it'll make it easier to put away, which I'm gonna do right now. So hopefully this won't take very long. All right, here's what I was able to 
rebuild um, or build the Hunter Orc, which I can relist, Aragon, Plo Koon, Draco Malfoy, Bubba Fett, Uruk uh, High from Lord of the Rings. And I'm going to have to get accessories for these two guys, but I'm sure it's not too hard. Uh, old Anakin, Harry Potter, and a tux or something. And then um, I have like multiples of these. One is the uh, Bigfoot uh, collectible mini series, series 14, the full set, and the uh, Evil Scientist. Um, so I'll have those. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I have three here that I can do. So that's uh, 10, 11, 12. So I've got two and a half days worth of uh, minifigures to list here. So that's not bad. morning it's Wednesday uh, August 11th what happened August 10th you may be asking well I took a break from blogging yeah just yesterday I just for whatever reason wasn't feeling it Maybe it was because I didn't have any brick link or brick owl orders yesterday uh, I did have four uh, eBay orders uh, I got my five listed yesterday and then um, I went through uh, here a couple of blogs ago or maybe last vlog I said um, I took back some of these uh, used part used slopes that I had given my niece to, to part out and she didn't do anything with them and when I got them back they were all like all mixed back in together so I took some time and resorted that back out and then my wife took a little time and sorted out the one by one cheese slopes and there was like a thousand of those in there so uh, we got those all uploaded and put away and so that was pretty much my day yesterday um, I have uh, I have these five to go up, but I think one of the minifigures that sold today I can uh, relist easily. And the other four, or the other three, uh, just uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to be able to, to go. And then today I do have one brick out order, three items, three lots. <laughs> yeah, this is how this is how it's been going lately. It's been really slow, and the orders that do come in are really, really low value. So. Um, should be able to get this cranked out in probably about 20 minutes, all, all five orders here, so let me get started. Had this uh, bag of minifigure parts on my desk for like months now, and I'm sick of looking at it, so I brought it downstairs, and I'm going to start going through it, get some stuff listed. All right, I got that bag sorted out by sort of category here, and this category here is like sort of somewhat completed minifigures. Um, so I'll look these. I'll start here and I'll look these up um, and see if I can complete them. And if so, I'll list them whole. Um, then over here are torsos that have arms or at least one arm, <laughs> um, and then uh, torsos with no arms, uh, body wear. Hair, SpongeBob, Mike, macro figs, feet, uh, accessories, arms and hands, plain legs, printed legs, some little animals, uh, headgear, um, accessories, anything Star Wars related, skeletons. Uh, I don't even know what to call that. All the heads, that'll be a project. And then um, some other things. This is garbage or non-Lego. Um, just parts. Uh, actually, this is garbage. Um, and then some... I'm assuming these are uh, brick arms. I, I never know how to tell. I mean, this one's definitely not Lego. But I'll start putting those together. Maybe I'll put a lot on eBay or something. But I'm going to start going through this here and seeing what I can complete um, and then uh, break the rest of them down. My wife sent down more uh, sorted parts, some 1x2 slopes and 
some other parts there. So I'm gonna take a break from uh, the minifigures and just get those listed and put away. I'm slowly making some progress with this. You can see uh, some holes there. I uh, got a lot of uh, a lot of parts in, in here. Got my uh, BSX file up to 593 items and 85 lots. A few hundred of those are those slopes that I did as well. And then uh, exciting news, I've got six new minifigures to put in eBay that are complete with accessories. So, or I've deemed them that they don't need accessories. Um, so, <clears throat> got a good backlog there going. I don't know how much longer I can do this today, so I might just leave this for and do this more tomorrow because it's it's getting some good returns on it. All right, I got the 600 parts and I decide to call it. So uh, all those 600 parts with the minifigure parts in there comes up to $91.55. Not bad. Plus I'm adding a lot of minifigure parts, which hopefully will bring in sales. I think I'll keep these on the table for tomorrow and I'll do another round of this tomorrow. I would, I do want to get another part out done this week, so uh, we're going to have to, I know I'm not going to get through all this tomorrow, but we're going to have to find a way to store this so I can easily set this back out on the table because the way it's organized right now, it's really easy to find parts if I want to try to build a minifigure or something, so which, what I've done over there was much easier when it's all spread out like this and I can see everything in one go. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget you can find us at ralphsbricks.com 